Welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for June 20th. I'm reading to you today from the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible, the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 14th chapter, verses 15 through 17. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. This is the word of God. Luther writes about that first verse, verse 15, If you love me, keep my commandments. Keep his word or commandment. That is what the soul must do who loves Christ, who understands and appreciates what he gets from Christ. No one is a Christian unless he keeps Christ's word, and no one can keep it unless he first loves God. Where this love is not, all amounts to nothing. Do as we will. If one were to take all the swords in the world in his hands, he would not bring a single heretic to the faith. The people may appear to accept the word, but in their hearts there is no faith. Hence, he who wishes to be a true bishop arranges all his administrations to the end, that he may win souls and develop a delight in God's word and a love for it. How does one acquire love? The human heart is so false that it cannot love unless it first sees the benefit of loving. No man can bring this love into the heart. Therefore God gave us his Son, graciously poured out his greatest treasures, and sunk and drowned all our sins and filth in the great ocean of his love, so that this great love and blessing must draw man to love and be ready to fulfill the divine commandments with a willing heart. In no other way can the heart love or have any love. It must be assured that it was first loved. Now a man cannot do this, Therefore God comes and takes the heart captive and says, Learn to know me. I am Christ, who placed myself in your misery to drown your sins in my righteousness. This knowledge softens your heart so that you must turn to him. The loyalty to Christ's kingdom is now considered a simple thing by the presumptuous and inexperienced spirits who deem themselves so holy and so strong in the faith as to be able easily to do what they hear and who think that the word of God is something that is obeyed as soon as it is heard. But experience teaches how difficult it is to keep this word, for the holy cross has been laid upon it. The church upon earth must strive and contend with weakness, poverty, misery, fear, death, shame, and disgrace, and our flesh and old nature prefer that which is easy and agreeable. But the Christian will love Christ, his word, and his kingdom, more than all things of the earth. When I was a young Christian, I used to think when I would read passages like this that I'm not a Christian. I'm not much of a Christian anyway because I can't keep his commandments. I can't do them. I can't perfectly do them all the time. Um, this is not what that word keeps means in this context. In fact, at least to my way of thinking about it, um, Keep means that you'll keep coming back to it so that even when you don't love God with your whole heart, and who of us does, ever, I don't care how mature of a Christian you are or how perfect other people think you are, you don't love God with your whole heart. You never will in this life. Does that mean you didn't keep the commandments? That that doesn't mean that you don't honor God above all things in your life? I don't think that's what it means if you keep coming back and trying again. If you don't ask for God's forgiveness and accept his uh, forgiveness, that you don't try again to love him with all your heart. And you'll fail again. But you keep his commandments because you keep coming back to them. Um, you may not honor your father and mother uh, the way you want to. You may actually uh, covet your neighbor's boat or whatever it is. I'm glad my neighbor doesn't have a boat that I can covet. But at any rate, it doesn't mean that you are, are free from such covetousness. It doesn't mean that you don't sometimes get snippy with your parents or even the memory of them. Um, it means that you keep coming back to a point where you honor your parents only to fail again and come back and try again. This is keeping the commandments. Uh, it means that uh, you got your eyes on that boat or um, that car or house or whatever it is. Um, and you realize your sin and you ask God's forgiveness. Receive it and then come back and try again. Um, 
keeping the commandments isn't in the trying. It's in the faith in the one who has sent his helper to help you try and to actually keep his commandments in spite of you. I pray that you understand this and that you'll keep on keeping his commandments. Let's pray. Father of us all, we thank you that you have sent your spirit for Christ's sake to help us to keep the commandments that he fulfilled for us. Give us strength to, to keep on, to keep believing, to keep trying to keep your commandments. Um, may you be honored in our uh, efforts at very least, uh, because our accomplishments we know ahead of time won't be much to look at. But may you be satisfied for Christ's sake. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me today, for reading the word with Luther. I hope you'll be back with me again tomorrow.